What is up guys and welcome back. Today we're going ice fishing and we are only going to be able to go ice fishing today, at least local that is, because for some crazy reason where I live, the weather is crazy and consistent. It got down to freaking three degrees last night. It was building all kind of good ice, but by tomorrow, it's going to be like 52 degrees. It's gonna stay in the 50s for the rest of the winter. Makes absolute zero sense, but I'm gonna take full advantage of the little bit of ice that we do have today. I'm gonna head out. It's gonna be on some thin, sketchy ice, but hopefully we're gonna catch a ton of freaking fish. So, stay tuned. First ice, again. I say again because we've already had first ice this year, but then it all melted and it's been like over a month. And now we got ice skating. We're the only assholes out here, dude. But this is first and last ice. <laughs> it looks pretty thin. Oh God, that's quick. <laughs> it's the quickest I've ever drilled. Oh God, dude. I don't know, buddy. That is two and a half. I don't know how I feel about that. That's so quick. That's still like two and a half. Super hairy conditions, guys. Sketchy stuff, doing sketchy stuff. I'm a big boy bee out here. This is definitely the thinnest ice I've ever been on. I just love how roomy it is. Oh shoot, my jaw jacker went off. He's on. Oh. What the heck? <laughs> I don't even know when it went off. Hey. A Dinsky. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. The jaw jacker works, dude. Well, that's kind of cool. That's pretty one. No way I'd have got that on a tip up. Heck yeah. I like when shit works, you know? Well, I feel better about being on freaking two inches of ice now. I guess that makes everything worth it, the struggle. Yeah, I'm gonna eat him, dude. That thing's thick. Jaw jacker's set. Which I keep calling this a jaw jacker. It's not, it's like a knockoff, but freaking work good. So we're gonna keep sending it. How many of these little cracks can we make before it gets sketchy? But yeah, guys, this is the, the new shanty. Freaking huge. I'm gonna call this the slaunch house. Panty shanty, now I got the slaunch house. Plan is the camp in here. I definitely ain't gonna be camping in here local though. You got one? You literally just told me there's like an inch and a half of ice over here. Dude, that thing is, what? that thing's like deformed. Yeah. Look at the hump on it. Oh boy, it's too much pressure. What are we doing? Yeah, that was bad. It's it sunk. I mean, what do you weigh? Uh, 190. Yeah, and I'm like 250, 255. Nick just kind of freaking like, dude, this thing's built like a bodybuilder, like like a power lifter. Got two nice trout skis. I'm gonna keep a couple for Dinsky. If we're out here risking our lives, we gotta keep a couple of them. You have fun on your half inch of ice. I'm gonna stay over here where it's two and a half, all right? Dang. Look at that thing. Here's the little chode, man. Demonetized. So much room for activities. The danger of it is what makes it fun. You know? Right. It's just what it's like being a West Virginia ice fisherman, man. Our ice is just breaking everywhere. We're out here. We're sending it. Holy crap. Dude, it's crazy. I like video, you look so far away. Freaking slaunch house, guys. Check it out. We uh, we might be sinking. I don't know. It's a little sketchy. We've caught some fish, probably gonna move around. But yeah, this is the new, new slaunch house, guys. So yeah, guys, this is the Nordic Hex Hub. It is a six to eight man tent and uh, plenty of room in there, as you guys could see. It's actually like sinking right now because this ice is a little unsafe, but I cannot wait to get this up north a little bit. And I'm planning to at least spend at least one or two nights in this thing. I'm gonna bring my cot, cold weather sleeping bag, and just send it and hopefully just fish all night. You know, pretty much make this home for a couple days. Look at all that freaking room. The old freaking slaunch house. Yeah, guys, I got this on Amazon for like 460 bucks or something, and I just checked, it's even cheaper right now. It's like 380, so I'm kind of bummed because I haven't got to use it for the last month. Trout? That's gotta be a trout. No? Oh my God. Good Mondo deal though. Freaking smoked it. Got some fat trout. Got some fat trout skis. Oh God. We're getting smoked right away. Crappie! Nice. Good morning. Okay, he was suspended too. Good. First drop down, smoked the crappie. I think we're on an inch of ice. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Freaking take it though. All right, well, I got a little cropster right there, boys. Let her go. Hopefully I get some more. On the old Sub-Zero ice jig. Well, that was so cool. The water's so clear. I just watched him swim all the way back down to that tree, which I'm assuming that's where the tree is. I can't really see the tree, but, but yeah. Got him on the Sub-Zero ice jig and a little wax worm. Oh, smoked. Oh, dude, what we got here? Just another big old gill. Holy crap, look at this guy. Man, he looks so big in that water. That was a good one though. Dude, I had a big mark on me. Oh my gosh, that was a crappie. That was definitely a crappie, dude. Damn. 
that real light just kind of like pull down. I think it's a crappie. I hope. Oh yeah, nice crappie. Oh, he saw the deucer. Ah, he's not even that nice. Just looking nice. Well, we're on some fish. Uh, not really the size we want, but I mean, I don't know. That's not bad. Not bad for here. There's definitely bigger ones. That's so cool watching them shoot away. Wow. On the fall. It's a gill that time. Watch them come all the way up. Oh, this bluegills. He's, he's look at him. He's coming to life. He's been sitting there forever. What is he doing? There he is. Oh, he's in my deucer. He's in my deucer. Another big gillski. These are quality gill. Chilling there. That was a good hit. Another gillski. Oh, dubskis. I hate these things. Oh God. The hell? Some big ass bluegill. Felt kind of big though. I hate you. Scott. What the heck is it? Oh boy. Oh, it's in the tree. Oh no. What would it? Anything. Uh oh. Is it coming up? It's clear enough that we might be able to see him. It's coming. What the hell's going on here? It's it was coming. Oh, and it just oh, it came up. It was out. <laughs> That's incredible. You just freaking beasted it up. Yeah, I have to eat that little guy too. Huh? I've contributed two bluegill and one and one uh, one trout to my feast tonight. Freaking Nick hammering the trout skis. Got him dialed, dude. Yeah. Holy crap! They're, they're all thick this time. Yeah. This is so much better than previous years. Dude, that was freaking cool. Freaking smoke. Yeah. Jigging around. Not bad, dude. Solid. Solid. Almost. Okay. I wouldn't be happy if I was in a kayak right now. No, I'd be yeah, yeah. happy to do yeah. yeah, dude. Heck yeah. Hey guys, well, I think we're going to call it. That's uh, today's haul. I caught that one. That's the only one I caught. And then you caught the chode fish and then all those guys, and I caught some blue skis. Again. So, yeah, guys, that's going to wrap it up. I don't really know what I'm doing tomorrow. I'm going to be fishing somewhere. The ice actually did build like almost a half inch while we we're out here. So, it is almost three and a half now, which is. A lot better than it was when we got here. But the problem is, is tomorrow it's going to get pretty warm. And then after that, it's going to get like crazy warm. So tomorrow's going to be the last day to ice fish without heading like significantly north. I don't know what we're doing. I don't know. So yeah, guys, <laughs> we got some solid trout. Uh, they're frozen solid right now. I got to get home, clean these, and then hopefully get on some more fish tomorrow.